Hi guys, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and welcome to the first tutorial in my Python programming tutorial series. This series will be focused upon teaching you how you can build a set of tools that can perform high quality search engine optimization analysis on any given web page. These tools will allow you to test your competitor's sites and evaluate what metrics are making the biggest impact to their search engine rankings. In this tutorial, I will briefly show you how you can retrieve a web page and print out its contents using Python's URL lib2 Python module. Okay, so open up your preferred text editor and create a new Python file called fetchpage.py. In this tutorial series, I will be using Adobe's new brackets text editor, which you can download from a link I will leave in the description below. Okay, so to get started, we're going to want to import the appropriate libraries. So URL lib2 and we're going to import cookie lib. Um, we're next going to create a variable which will hold the desired um, URL of the web page we want to retrieve. So in this case, I'm just going to do the home page from a tutorial site. So http forward slash tutorial edge dot net. Okay. And next, we're going to want to create or define a set of headers that we're going to use at the top of our HTTP request. And to save myself writing this all out and making mistakes, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Now, all of this will be available at the tutorial link in the description below, so don't worry if you can't read this. Um, next, we're going to create the request object by doing request equals URL lib2 dot request and we're going to pass in the site and we're going to set headers equal header and those are the only two parameters we need so next once we've done this we're going to create a page object and we're going to set this equal to url lib2 dot url open and we're going to pass in our request object and we're going to surround this in a try except just um, to make sure that the program fails gracefully if there's any problems http http error error and e and we're going to print out e.fp.read okay so lastly now that we've both created the request object and we've opened this request object we're going to want to read the response so we're going to create a variable called content and we're going to equal this as page.read and once we've done that just to make sure it all works we're going to print out this content okay so that's it that's all you need to basically fetch and fetch a web page with python and just to check it works i'm going to try it in the command line so ls and you can see my fetch page document here our script here and I'm going to do python fetch page.py and it should work but it doesn't ah okay so I'm changing that and it should work now so fetch page and we'll just wait for that to load and here you see all the HTML of the, um, the requested web page and that's it guys if you found this tutorial useful or you enjoyed the video at all, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Cheers!